Atsumu grabs Sakisa. It's Omi Omi! Silence. What? Hi, I'm back! So today, we are gonna do the part 2 of Sakisa and Atsumu's love story about the fake boyfriends. I hope you guys will enjoy the part 2 of this story. So yeah. Um, if you haven't watched the part one yet, then I suggest you to watch it. I'm gonna leave it here, around here. Yeah, so I hope you guys will enjoy this one. Thank you! Atsumo knows that Sakisa is angry, so he tried his very best to hide from him, waiting for his anger to subside. But then again, luck was never in his favor. Sakisa almost immediately saw him. If you're thinking of running away, then you better prepare dying. Please, let's just talk like civilized people, okay? Calm yourself first. How the heck do you expect me to calm down, Atsumo? I know, it's my fault. Care to explain? It just slipped out of my tongue. Are you really a dumb blonde? Hey, Hinata and Kageyama was being too clingy and it frustrated me, okay? Face palm. Hours before this happened, Hey, 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 lovebirds! Bokoto-san! Hello, Bokoto-san. It's been a long time. How is Akashi-san doing? Fine, fine! Actually, would you guys like to have dinner with us? It's our anniversary. Eh? But wouldn't it be better if it's just the two of you? Yeah, I think so too. No! The more, the merrier! She actually invited Goro and Kenma, but they already have some plans. Oh, I guess we'll go. You're free, right? Yeah. Yay! Yeah, hey. What are you guys talking about? Oh, join us, Atsumu-san. We're gonna have a double date with Bokoto-san and Akashi-san. It's gonna be the fifth wheel? What? Oh, actually... Stop it. You're not in the right position to say it. Oh, right. Sorry, Atsumo-san. It's okay. Kagiyama stroking Hinata's hair. Oh, you're so sweet. Ah, uh, I wish Akashi is here. Oh, right. What's that thing about you, Tsumo? You know, the thing Hinata wants to say? Atsumo snapped back to reality. Oh, oh, that. Uh -huh. Um, is it supposed to be a secret? You don't have to say it. Nah, actually, Omi Omi will accompany me. Really? We've been dating for a while. We just decided to stay private since he's really shy about it. I really thought you guys don't get along. Guess I'm wrong. Yeah, <laughs> it's all just an act. So you guys will join us? Of course. Great. Triple date. Yay. I'm too... Back to the present. That's what happened. You're really so dumb. I know, okay? Just please, Omi. We won't do anything out of the ordinary. Just dinner. Like I have a choice. Thank you, Omi. I swear, I'll repair you someday. Please, let this be the last one. So later that evening, everyone prepared for the dinner. Bokoto and Akashi first arrived in the restaurant and then the Kagihina couple. Glad you guys came! Of course! Alright, happy anniversary! Gives them flowers. Happy anniversary, Bokoto-san, Akashi-san. I wish you guys to stay strong. Hey, thank you! I heard Atsumu and Sakisa is coming. Yeah! Apparently, they're a couple. And then the said couple arrived. Hey guys! Hey. Damn, I still can't process how you two are a couple. I know, right? There are times where it still shocks me. <laughs> what are you talking about? Congratulations to the both of you. Now, we should greet you guys for your anniversary. Yeah, happy anniversary. Thank you, everyone. Thank you also for coming. Let's all sit in order. Okay. Food time! Atsumu whispering, Please, at least try to act like you're in a relationship. Please! Sakisa also whispering, I'm already putting up with all this nonsense. 
Why are you guys whispering? Is there something wrong? Oh, nothing. I was just telling Omi Omi how excited I am to be with him later tonight. Silence. You guys are pretty wild. Hinata's blushing. I shouldn't have asked. I really want to kill you right now, look. <laughs> Let's order. The waiter then approached their table and each of them got their order. The thing is, Kageyama is extra attentive to Hinata, even ordering his food since he basically knows all of Hinata's favorite. At that moment, Sakisa catch a glimpse of Atsumo's face and sighed. Atsumo looked like an abandoned puppy. The waiter then proceeded to take Sakisa's order. I'll take pickled plums and a fatty tuna. I didn't know you liked tuna, Sakisa-san. It's Atsumo. He likes tuna. Atsumo is shocked. What? You like tuna, right? I ordered for you. I hope you don't mind. Oh no, thank you. The dinner then finished with everyone chatting. Atsumo, on the other hand, was real quiet during the whole duration of the dinner. It's been really nice hanging out with you guys. I hope to see you again when I'm not so busy. See you guys! I had fun! Yeah, let's hang out again soon! Pagiyama nods. Everyone then bid farewell. Well, that was fun. I didn't expect that one. Um, how did you know that I like tuna? What? I don't really share those kinds of things, so how do you know? Oh, in an interview. You said it, right? Also, when we eat out with the team, you always order a tuna. You watch my interviews? I need to get to know who I'm playing with. Oh, Atsumo is slightly disappointed. Well, if I didn't know your favorite food, then that would make me a bad boyfriend, right? Winks. Wh what? Saki says laughing, I'm kidding, fake boyfriend. Omi, Omi, that was not funny, okay? Atsumo tried to hide the loud beating of his heart. It was also evident that he was blushing previously. Good thing Saki is walking at the front. Many days later, many triple dates happened. Slowly but surely, everything was no longer pretend. Atsumo was no longer bothered by Kagiyama and Hinata. He genuinely enjoys their company. He loves spending time with them because he has Sakisa who tugs along on every trip they make. Little does he know, the happy moments will come to an end. Omi, the guys are thinking about going to the cafe this weekend. Atsumo. Oh, right. After cafe, why don't we go to cinema? It's going to be super romantic. We need to talk. Oh, would you like skiing? Atsumo. Is there something wrong? You don't like it? It's been three months. This needs to stop. Our agreement is just a month. You do remember that I'm not your real boyfriend, right? We need to settle this. I'm sorry, I need to go somewhere. Atsumo! Atsumo then ran away with tears forming in the corner of his eyes. That's right. Everything was a pretend. When did it start feeling real? I'm so dumb, falling for the man I asked to be my fake boyfriend. And that's it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and yeah, there's going to be the part 3, yeah, so I hope you guys will stay tuned and enjoy this one. Jane!